Hello there. In this video, we have three important things to cover. First, customizing admin reality sidebar filter based on the user role. For second, applying permission to show or hide control based on user access. And third one is super user permission to simplify assigning permission for new routes. Okay, to get it started, I want to merge my previous branch to my main branch. So let's create merge pull request and it will merge to my main branch. So create a pull request. And after that, merge pull request, confirm merge, and there you go, it is successfully merged. And in my main branch, there will be all the changes that we did on our previous series. And now, coming back to my screen on my VS Code, let's switch my branch to main branch and let's pull all the changes on my local, change, local VS Code here. Now let's start by creating new branch called feature sidebar with permission. Okay, it creates new branch on that main branch. Now going back to our admin LTE documentation, there is a simple code here about the custom menu filter. So we are going to use that one for custom filterization based on our user role. So let's here we need two things. Let's copy this code. I'll don't worry, I'll paste the link in the description below and go to our app folder and create filters. And here inside I will create menu filter dot php and here inside I'll paste the code that we copied. So paste it. Now let's change the title, app filters, and here let's clear out and we'll work on that later so here let's log it what we get so logging items and there should be one thing that we missed so let's check it and here we need to copy this section as well which is inside the admin LT. so let's go back to the code here and let's comment out the get filter. Don't forget to comment out the get filter. And here we are going to call our menu filter dot class. And don't forget to import on the top, or you can call directly on that line. Here, let's go back to our menu filter, and let's refresh our dashboard. And here, let's check on our log section, storage, and logs. Here let's clean up and see if there is a uh, log coming up. Yeah, we got the item over here and each item has this false. Similarly, we can add an extra value called restricted, which is given here on the documentation itself. So restriction is equal to true. So here we are going to put the condition on our uh, menu filter say if the item has route and if the auth user can use that router or can have that permission then we s we're gonna say item restricted is equal to false else we are going to say restricted is equal to true and outside we are going to return the item so it's written false if user don't have permission let's refresh this again and see if there is any throwing error let's see let's log it here and if we got that restricted or not with the item there you go i think we got it Yes, we have for each one for sub menu as well. Now to test this function completely, let's add menu on our admin LT sidebar. To do so, let's add route first. So I'm gonna add the route over here inside permission. So route get and there should be test and function inside just return whatever you want to i'm going to return permission with the sidebar 
and to add this menu on the sidebar we are going to go on admin lt menu section just copy this one and paste it in maybe in the bottom section or wherever you want and just change the name and the route name as well so test and this should be inside permission so let's clean up this icon as well i don't need it the default icon would be circle we are going to see that let's refresh it uh, route name not defined i think we i forget to assign the route name as it is so going back to our web.php here say name as a test now it should not throw the error let's clean up our route as well and let's clear the case now let's refresh it and there should be it is not showing because user don't have or super user don't have that permission to add the permission for that route what we need to do we need to go inside the permission need to add that route that we just created or need to run that uh, command that we created so here i think there is a mistake that i did the spelling error let's go to fix that one first inside permission controller so let's check permission controller over here if you do control p then it will pop up this window so going to our trim section see there is a spelling error so let's make it correct as a trim and let's go back and let's try to add again as a test route and after creation of this we need to assign that route to the role so going to the role here and let's go to our super user role and then add that just created permission to that super user role that's it now if we refresh this page the test should appear on the sidebar there you go we got it our first topic is finished let's check if that sidebar is appear on the manager page as well so uh, just let's open new window or try on an incognito mode and let's log in with the manager credentials I have already logged in with the manager credentials and here I think there is a route permission as well we are going to fix that one there is no problem let's go to the dashboard and here manager account and there is no sidebar the test sidebar for that manager because it don't have a permission now we are going to show going to the second topic I don't we don't want to show the control over here if user don't have a permission see if we click that one it will return user don't have a permission but we don't want to show that permission as well how to do that let's jump to my code and inside let's say user controller here in our list um, get user list here we are going to check users individual permission if it can be accessed or not so here let's add auth and going back to here if auth user can user.edit then we are going to provide this one similarly we are going to let's refresh it first there you go user manager don't have a edit permission so it will not show up now let's do the same thing for the destroy so it should be users dot destroy let's keep this one inside the curly brass 
and destroy and let's refresh our page there you go it should um, if we if we have provided the user as a delete permission or edit permission then it should show we have covered the second topic as well now jumping to the third topic we can implement the same logic on our view as well that maybe we're gonna do on a later video so now coming back to the third point which is providing the super user permission for say for example if you created the test one you need to provide that you need to create the test permission and then assign that permission to the super user but we don't want to do that we just can bypass those things so here what we do we create the user we create the role as a super user and we create the permission that is created by our command and then we assign that role to that user syncing that permission but we we can bypass this section which is provided on the spity uh, user role and permission documentation let's see what it is saying the source for super and it will appear as a super admin or super user in our case here this is the code that we require in our auth service provider we just need to add this section so let's go to our provider app and then it should be outside yep provider and here inside our boot there is we're gonna paste the code and we have this thing to paste on our header section or we can just disable it or sorry enable it now here we need to add our super user that should be exactly on the database thing so that one is created on our seeders so let's go to our seeders just copy this one and go back to our auth service provider and paste it over here doing this should do the job just delete this one we don't need it now and save the file let's test if user can if we add the new route then do we need to add it from the database or can we just bypass it so to test that one let's copy this one say test 2 test 2 here and let's go to the, our web file and here let's copy this section and just change the name test 2 test 2 and let's save it should match it now let's refresh it on the super user it should appear here on the sidebar oh it is not appear maybe we did something wrong let's clear the cache and let's refresh it again no it is not appearing let's ex try to access it explicitly we still have showing not permission let's log the user here press it and we got our user data there is our super user but maybe our role is not actually the comparison one so let's check if the role does it have a super role false it is coming false but in the documentation it says before rule need to return null rather than false so i think we have something wrong over here let's check the rule yes it ah our i think we saved the permission as a capital s so that what is the problem 
just to say um, just to fix for now I'm just going to say let's check if the super user is saying true or not by refreshing it yeah there you go it's saying true it is just a simple spelling is so error or capital letter case sensitive error so let's clear this one and let's add our super user with s capital and that should appear the sidebar yes we got it let's refresh this one and it should appear over here without assigning permission to the user regularly we may need to add permission roles uh, assign the permission to roles and then you can access it so here let's try once one again once again let's say test 3 and here say test 3 route name and here random words just say route with Right for right route for super user and without assigning it and let's go to access here this tree and there you go we, even without it inside the permission um, group even without doing it it is giving us the access now I'm just going to commit my changes and I'll paste the link in the description below for this branch and you can have a look or take a reference from the code or you can copy the entire code thanks for watching see you on the next video if you got any problem then just comment it on the video i'll try to respond as soon as possible or let me know if you need anything or anything related with the laravel that i can make the video for the further section this series ends here thank you thank you for watching